Hi everybody, welcome back to Facebook Live for Friday afternoon, Friday evening. We made it through another week. I thank you for coming back and watching us. I'm joined today by Dr. Keith Augenbright, the director of the Moncrief Southwestern Cancer Institute. Welcome Keith. Thank you, Mayor Glad Price. To have you with us. Dr. Augenbright has been a key advisor for me during this entire time, particularly on testing and setting up what that might look like. So we're going to talk a little bit about testing and why it's so critical and where we stand in just a few minutes. But as we always do, I want to give you an update on today's cases. Tarrant County today has 1,178 positive cases, 35 fatalities, and 187 recovered cases. Fort Worth has 466 positive cases and 20 fatalities. Yesterday was the county's single largest gain in cases with 103 cases gained yesterday. That means we've surpassed the 1,000 number again and well on our way. It underscores the importance of what you're doing by staying home and following CDC guidelines. I know it's frustrating. I know you're getting really antsy. Don't forget you can get out and go exercise. Dr. Argenbright and I rode our bikes yesterday, which is fun. And you also watched yesterday as we had the members of the core team. The, community, the Committee on Reopening Our Economy gave you a quick look at what that might be. We had two council members with us, but it was made up of public health advisors, businessmen, and my council members. And Dr. Argenbright is a member of that team. So the president issued his criteria yesterday, and I was pleased to see those, but it includes a downward trajectory of 14 days on cases, and critically, the hospital's ability to respond to all cases that are out there. We know that we can meet the hospital responses, but that we're not meeting the 14 days of declining just yet. We're going to get there, folks. We really are. But our ability to have a robust testing program in place is critical to that. So knowing that testing is a key function as we begin to look at reopening, I've invited Dr. Argenbright to answer some questions about testing. So Keith, let's start with questions about why testing is so critically important. Well, testing is important because we need to know who is infected with the virus. We need to educate them we need to isolate them, and then we need to look at finding out who they've been in contact with and who they might have spread this virus to. And so testing is the first and the really the foundation of what our uh, program uh, really needs to be about. And it's gonna be a key piece of the reopening, don't you agree? I think it's gonna be critical. I think that uh, as more and more testing comes online, and we open up our ability to test more and more people, that really is going to be the foundation. Thanks to your leadership, Mayor, we've done a great job at flattening the curve. And in order to keep it flat and to make sure that we don't have a rebound, testing is going to be critical in that effort. And people have been frustrated with testing. They're here about Dallas's drive-ins. They hear about this or that. Talk a little bit about what's happened that's made testing not available to everyone and why it probably shouldn't have been to start out with. Well, um, and there's no blame here, no, but no blame. Um, I think that the CDC was a little bit slow to understand how critical testing was going to be. And they had a hiccup with the first round of their tests, which weren't completely accurate. And that put us behind. Mm -hmm. And in order to catch up, the FDA started allowing laboratories to develop their own tests under what's called emergency youth author, emergency youth authorization. Some of them are hard to they say. They are. <laughs> and uh, the, the main point is that we're finally catching up and we're starting to see Abbott and Quest and Cepheid uh, and all of these labs are finally starting to get the tests out into the community. The next hurdle will be actually getting people to get the test. And that's what we're working on right now is to start to stand up some of these independent testing centers so that people who need the test can get them. They can get them quickly. They can get them safely and they can get them in a convenient manner. So a couple of questions in one. What's the average time now for results to come back? And the other one was, will we maintain criteria as to who can be tested? 
I'm going to answer the second one first, okay. okay? We really need to test symptomatic people. You need to have some symptoms. It's a tricky virus, and we're finding more and more that sometimes the symptoms are a little bit vague. But what we don't yet know is really how to test somebody and how accurate the test is if you don't have any symptoms at all. So our testing is going to be symptom-based testing. How quickly can you get the results back? The centers that we plan to stand up in various parts of the city and the county, we're expecting a 48-hour turnaround on those particular tests. And there's a lot of talk out there, and many of you are asking about antibody testing. And exactly how does that differ from the test that we're using currently, and what does it mean? It's a great question, and it's important to understand the difference. Because all of the tests that we are doing now are testing for the active virus in the person. And that's what can be spread to another person, and that's what causes this pandemic. The antibody tests are going to be important weeks and months after someone is infected. And we hope that they will show us who's been infected and what type of immunity they might have to getting infected again. But right now, we are still trying to figure out how those antibody tests have a clinical application. Because right now, we're still getting trying to get that figured out. Yeah. And there's a lot of talk about them right now. So... I think people need to just understand that there's nothing easy about these testing questions, nor about the supply, and that we are working on it. A lot of bright minds are working on this. And there's nothing easy about social distancing, no. and there's nothing easy about staying at home and being safe, but that is working. And the tests are the next step, and the tests will work as well. And the tests will be critical to reopening. Critical. Very critical. Keith, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. This is all great information, invaluable information. There are days testing just runs through my head, and I'm going, I don't know whether I know where we're up or down on testing. But we've got ex experts like Keith to help us understand that. We appreciate your leadership and what you've volunteered and given to us at the city immensely. Appreciate you, Mayor. So they follow the guidelines. Remember, you're staying home for someone that you love. We've got a new campaign coming out called Hashtag Stay home for who you love. And we will continue to give you updates on testing and updates on this front. It won't be compromised. Your safety and the health of our community is critical to us as we make key decisions about reopening this city. We'll always put public health and citizen safety first. So I always close with y'all stay safe, y'all stay healthy, and y'all stay home.